All right, guys, today's video, I want to share with you some words of wisdom and take you through some of the biggest lessons which I've learned over the past year. Now, the reason why I'm making this video now and sharing it with you is because it was exactly a year ago when I moved down to London and started a new chapter of my life, okay? Now, I need to set the scene a little bit before we begin to exactly what the situation was a year ago. Okay, so I had left my company, I'd left my gym, I'd fall out with a business partner, had left all my best friends in Newcastle, all my clients. I pretty much had nothing. I felt like I was taking a huge step backwards and was starting from scratch. But it was something which I chose to do. I knew I had to remove myself from a situation which wasn't progressing or which wasn't gonna be better for me, good for me in the long run. And I moved down to London and started fresh. Okay, which brings me on to my first lesson, which is progress almost always comes from being in a uncomfortable, difficult, almost desperate situation. Because I felt like I had nothing, I felt like there was, there was so much work to do. You know, I was hungry to progress, to be better. I was living in an apartment which was almost four times as expensive as the rent I was paying in Newcastle, and I wasn't earning any money at that point in time. So I hustled, I got my grind on, and I worked my ass off, and very quickly things started turning around and working out for the better. Second lesson which I want to share with you is that if you want something badly enough, you're going to do everything in your power to get it, okay? And I truly believe that. At the start of this year, there were two things which I really wanted to achieve or accomplish. First thing was YouTube. I wanted to have at least 100,000 subscribers by June, July time. And guess what? I had 200,000 by June, July time. The second thing I wanted was just more money, okay? Not to go and buy stupid things, but just to be rewarded for the amount of effort I'm putting into my work, okay? And just to have a little more flexibility, go see things I wanna see, buy things I wanna buy, okay? Not feel stressed out of having to budget and worry about money all the time, okay? They were the two things I wanted most, and I did everything in my power to make sure that I achieved those two things. Lesson number three, I really feel like I've learned to deal with negativity, criticism, and failure, okay? Things not always going my way. And let me tell you an example, so say for example, if I put all my heart and soul into creating this video to help you guys out and it doesn't really get a good response it doesn't get many views gets quite a lot of dislikes a bit of criticism and you're just like oh okay i didn't expect that and it's very easy to throw the towel in and give up but you can't you just have to persist carry on figure out why something didn't necessarily succeed or go as planned learn from it and make sure that you try and prevent that from happening again in the future. And the same thing goes for negativity. I'm sure many YouTubers are aware of this, but the YouTube comment section is something else, okay? It's probably, out of all the social media platforms, one which is the most rife with negativity, okay? And something was a, which was a bit of a shock when I started earlier this year, but you just learn to deal with it, okay? And ignore it, okay? There are gonna be trolls out there who just troll. And it's very easy to go through the comment section and be like, uh, uh, get very offended, but you can't let that happen, okay? You just have to have thick skin and be like, whatever, doesn't bother me. You know, if that type of person go around leaving negative comments on people's channels, just for the sake of doing it, it's more of a reflection of their own insecurity and lack of progress in their own life that they feel they need to unleash the unhappiness and negativity onto somebody else. Lesson number four, be yourself, okay? Be Mike Thurston, don't be anyone else. This is something which was quite apparent to me when I was starting my YouTube career. Obviously, you know, I did a little bit of research and was like, well, what makes a good YouTuber? And you do notice that quite a lot of YouTubers have similar things in common, such as either they're very funny guys or girls, or they're very entertaining, or they just live a very interesting life. And I was like, holy crap, like, I don't know if I'm one of those people. I'm just a pretty normal guy, okay? And I just decided, stop, stop trying to be this person that you're not and just do you. Be Mike Thurston and hopefully people will appreciate the fact that you are just being honest and genuine and not trying to be someone else. Because I tell you what, in the fitness industry, there are so many fakes. Okay, there's so many fake people and I can see it a mile off. I know what they're doing. It, to me, it just reeks of desperation of these individuals just trying to climb the social ladder of fame to be accepted, okay? And people will, well, these individuals, they would take these staged photos of themselves living this glamorous 
luxurious life, okay? Or well, everything they do on YouTube or on camera is purely for the camera, for the followers. It's not actually who they are, okay? They're living a fake life. And it's something which I just was like, I can't do this. I cannot be that person. I can only be me, okay? Lesson number five is you need to have a balance in your life, okay? You can't do too much of one thing. Now, let me tell you an example, okay? This year, I probably grafted the hardest I've grafted out of many years of my life, okay? And it has paid off, but it's come at a price. I've had to sacrifice a lot of social events, a lot of holidays, going out on weekends, drinking, you know, all these things which are potentially detrimental to your productivity, your physique, and so on, your health. But from time to time, it just needs to be done, okay? Because what I experienced was I was so caught up in trying to stick to uh, like a YouTube schedule, getting a video out every three days, you know, trying to get loads of online clients, just trying to grow my business, grow my revenue, grow everything. Then I looked at my life and I was like, hang on a second, I'm not having any fun here. Like I'm working nonstop all weekends and I'm not really doing anything. Like to me, the, the whole summer just flew by and I was like, where the hell did that go? I have done nothing this summer, okay? And what was happening was I was, I was saying no to so many things and not having any fun, letting my hair down, that I was getting a bit bored and depressed, okay? And I was blaming that boredom and depression on my work because I felt like it was my work that was not allowing me to have fun, okay? And then that had further negative impacts on my work because I then saw it as a chore. I wasn't enjoying it. I was losing creativity. I was losing momentum and enjoyment from doing what it is that I'm supposed to love, then I just had to take a bit of time out, okay? So it was the same, same for example, YouTube, okay? I was getting so overwhelmed of just sitting down, recording a video, editing it all, because I edit all my videos myself. I wasn't doing anything else. I, spent, I was spending my whole time on my laptop just editing away and not having any fun. And I just had time off. I said to myself, right, just leave YouTube for a bit, which I did, you know, every now and then I'll have a little bit of a break from it, go out, Live your life, have fun, and come back. But come back with that hunger to want to do it, to actually enjoy doing it, okay? And it's happened, I had the three weeks off. You know, I didn't upload for a while, and then I've got the hunger back. I wanna do it again, I'm enjoying it, okay? And we're gonna be back with a steady upload. But that's only because I had figured out that I needed to get the balance in my life. You have to go out from time to time, have fun, enjoy yourself, eat what you want to eat from time to time but moderation okay moderation is key balance is key to having a fulfilling enjoyable life thank you very much for listening to this video i know it's not been the most visually stimulating one and i have ranted on for a while now but i felt like i needed to get it off my chest and hopefully you can take something of value from this so if you're not already subscribe to my channel subscribe It'd be much appreciated Make sure you check out all my other videos. There'll be plenty more to come. And I shall see you soon.